welcome to Madison Square Garden in New York as we get set for a matchup between the New York Knicks and the Chicago Bulls. Good evening, everyone. Along with Jeff Van Gundy, Mike Green on hand. So the regular season continues to wind down. Jeff, obviously this team has clinched their playoff spot. They know where they're going to be come postseason time. But these games still mean something for this club. Well, seeding's important. You want to get the best possible seed. You want to have home court as much as possible. All right, yo, yo, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. DDG94 here with another NBA Live my career gameplay and today we're taking on the Chicago Bulls again we got them again this time they're facing us at our house Melo gets the foul um yeah 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 Look at that. Good free throw shooting. Good free throw shooters do not execute their free throws. That does not make sense to me. And that was a block. He went straight up with him, and that's a block where he gets the foul. This game. This game, I swear, man. So, uh, yeah. Yee. Yee. Knocks down the second after he misses the first. You know? To Anthony. As of yesterday, we played. Gets it up for two. And Carmelo Anthony with the bucket. He scored 15 points. Today, we, we played about. I played the live stream yesterday. I gave y'all some NBA live 16 footage. I love the way they're not complicating the game. Get the ball near the basket and then finish with strength. And to Anthony. I played it and you know I, I don't want to be the one to you know bring this stuff up but what did I played the game yesterday y'all saw me play this on a live stream yesterday y'all saw me I went through everything that I could possibly go through and at the end of the day I'm trying to figure out what did patch 4 really do besides update player faces and give us a new court what did it really do for us the player. Because I know you could be like, well, you haven't played enough. No, trust me. I've played as much as I need to. Pass to the corner. Nice ball movement from three point land. Trust me. I've played enough. There's a turnover. To Anthony. I played enough to realize that a lot of these things that they said in this game they aren't they I I I don't see it I really don't some of them I do see but not a lot I do see improvements in the rebounding I do think the rebounding is improved Um Grand. That's a two. And it's a one point lead for the Knicks. That's a beautiful offensive basketball. To shoot it and not even know They did fix the rebounding. That's 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 good, but the defense aspect is just I don't know. 
There's still something to be said about the defense. Yeah, I saw it like yesterday. Look at that. They just go in the paint and they can throw up anything. And I still don't like the fact that even though they're defended pretty well, it it still leads to an easy bucket. I am happy that the fouling, the foul, the foul calling is uh, fixed, so that way we can now get our foul calls when we drive to the basket and they do hack us. You know, I'm happy about that. But this free throw thing is one of my biggest gripes because you're a good free throw shooter, but you could only make one free throw. How the hell did he block that? I passed him up and oh my goodness. To the basket, flips it up, puts it in, a two point but he goes straight to the lane, he doesn't get blocked. Players have to be able to do this. Finish over the top of shot block. Strong at the rim. Oh, that's nice right there. The finish at the rim. I mean nice dunk. It fixed some stuff, but it didn't fix a lot. Like the shooting is still the shooting is still ridiculous. The percentages of shots that go in are still ridiculous. And I played pro am yesterday. I did look back at the footage. I saw some. I saw some six foot three point guards actually playing point guard, and I'm a six one point guard, and I'm sitting here playing small forward and shooting guard still. I don't understand that. Defensive intensity at the other end of the floor, and that's exactly what has happened here in the first half. No. I don't understand that. Look at that good free throw, right on the money, and you tell me I can't make my free throws. That does not make sense, EA. You cannot, you cannot, what do you want us to do? Boost all the way to a fucking 90? I mean, Carmelo shoot 88% from the field, but he can only make one free throw. Every time he gets fouled, he can only make one free throw. You're going to play solid basketball, and that's exactly what is happening here today. Look at the beautiful ball movement and passing. Sends it to the corner. I mean, yeah, some things got improved, some things did get fixed, but a lot of stuff didn't get fixed. Like, for instance, the passing, still still no way to throw the ball around the defender instead of just throwing it directly at his fucking head. I still don't like that. I mean, you do get rewarded for defense now, but the defense is still rarely seen. I mean, I I, I played enough yesterday to come to my conclusion that uh, some stuff, I, I do see that certain things were fixed. I do see things like defense being fixed. I do see things like, you know, uh, dribbling and... And issues with uh, and, and certain animations too. I do like the fact that you don't do random animations when you get closer to the basket now. But like I said, the ball has no fucking direction. The ball still has no fucking direction. I still don't like the fact that the ball has no direction, man. Come on. I do a reverse layup under the basket, and that leads and it and it goes right under. That doesn't make sense. You gotta give the ball a direction, man. Not just it goes up, then it goes in. You got to give it direction, too. That's why I say it. This game, they need to focus more on physics and animations. As that's, that's now my biggest gripe now with this game. It's just the physics. I mean, I do see the improvements. I'm not going to lie to you, but it's still a lot of things that just aren't, you know, I mean, I, I I can say you know, I can I, I will say that they they did make improvements, but I mean, 
it's just certain aspects on defense the mechanics with the ball and how it moves I mean uh, the game still freezes y'all saw it yesterday the game still fucking freezes I'm just like what did they fix then if the game still fucking freezes that's that's <laughs> it's, it's still some shit that's just I'm just not happy with Certain things have been fixed, but I feel like a lot of these things that they said they fixed aren't really fixed. I feel like they're just tuned down a little bit. Like they don't happen more frequently now. That's just me, though. I'll talk some more about it in the second half. Alright. So. <sighs> the things that I think that they need to reevaluate and go over what they didn't fix mainly is just the defense aspect. They said they fixed. Um, defense logic when you're in the paint. Interior, no, it's really the interior defense that I have complaints about, but I think that the defense sometimes does show, but when it's in the paint, it's like it doesn't exist, or it doesn't matter, I should say. Because, like, I tell you, man, when it comes to Derrick Rose driving to the basket, I don't have no help. And I got Robin Lopez down there. I got Kyle O'Quinn down there. I got Derrick Williams down there. I got Carmelo down there. Carmelo plays better defense than my center. Like, the star player plays better defense than anybody. Look at that. He just goes straight into the paint. Nobody rotates over. He just They just stand there and look at him as he goes to the basket and scores. I don't like that. It's like, they just stand there and watch you, but then when it's you on the other hand, oh no, they all up on you. They following you wherever you go. But when it comes to your teammates, they don't do shit. They don't move. They just stand there and let whoever driving to the basket score. I don't like that, yo. The interior defense in this game is still a fucking joke. When it's your team, not when it's them. When it's them, oh, it's a whole nother ball game. But when it's you, but when it's but when it's you on defense, oh no, it's 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 a fucking joke. It's like it's like yo, rotate, cut him off. But they just stand there and let them score. That's the thing I don't like, man. That's the aspect I really think they need to fix. Another thing, too, that I'm having a problem with is the Pro-Am. They said they reordered the positions. Why is it that a 6'3 point guard who, I don't care if he's a 92 or 94 overall. You can go back and check the live stream from yesterday. I went back and checked the live stream from yesterday. It was a 6'3 point guard who was, it was a 6'3 point guard playing point guard over me who was a six foot one point guard I'm still playing small forward at six one I'm still guarding six foot four six foot five six foot six to six foot nine fucking behemoths man I don't like that yo I'm a fucking six one point guard let me play the right position if you're gonna you can't say we reordered the positions of shooting guard point guard a uh, small forward, power forward, and center, and you don't even got the sizes correct. You still got the smallest. You probably got the smallest point guard on the team going up against one of the biggest guys on the team. That don't make no sense to me, yo. 
start to finish. Yo, it doesn't. And that's my. I, I'm just. I'm just like, dude. Come on, man. Just now, he's got five assists in this contest. I don't understand it, yo. You can't say you fix something and, it's, and then you play it and it's not actually fixed. I was expecting to play point guard because I know everybody likes to be a six foot three, six foot four point guard instead of a six foot one point guard. You know what I'm saying? I went with my actual height, which is six foot one. What you're seeing here is both teams being very unselfish. And you mean to tell me that I can't play my correct position? Come on, man. I don't care if there is like a 94 or 96 or 95 overall. I don't care, yo. The fact that I'm the smallest guy on the, f on the floor, on the court, and yet I still have to play against one of the more bigger players on the court, that just doesn't make sense to me. And then also the high percentage shots that still go in at the fucking pro am is still ridiculous, yo. I thought by nerfing the threes, you was gonna make people play team defense. Y'all saw it yesterday. For those y'all who watched the live stream yesterday, y'all saw it. I was playing team basketball. I'm not no ball hawk. I'm not gonna just jack up shots all fucking day. I play team basketball. I, I play the game the right way, but people, you know, pe I try to get everybody involved and try and let everybody get a flow and let everybody get a rhythm so that way everybody can make shots. That's what I was doing. I was playing my position the right way. I don't take threes. I don't take unnecessary shots. I try to set everybody up and get things going. Like, and everybody, it, it seems like everybody just still shoots fucking threes out the ass like it's nothing. And that's why I cannot play, I still, you still cannot play pro I still cannot play Pro-Am. I still cannot play NBA Live's Pro-Am. It's, it's just, it's too fucking much. You try to set everybody up and then you're just playing with a bunch of three-point cycle passes. And you got niggas who trying to do too much, trying to get into the paint and shit. I mean... I mean, I will say this about Pro-Am, at least they ba play better interior defense than the actual game itself. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's ridiculous. How... It's, it's ridiculous how... Uh, how the, the interior defense in Pro-Am is better than it is in Rise and Star mode. Or any other basic single player game mode in this game. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get rewarded for playing team basketball because that's how I play. And I thought that if they nerfed the threes and the twos, then it would it would help get every it would help make make pro am more fun. I thought this patch was gonna do it, did not do it for me. Still cannot play pro am. Still cannot play some circuit. Still can't play live run. I can't do it. I try to get everybody involved and try to get everybody in the rhythm. But it's like when I come to the pro am, or when I come to fucking, when I come to the pro am, and I'm trying to play with other players, it's like you can't. It's like it's just too much because everybody knows they can just knock down fucking shots all day. Like it's nothing, and I don't like that. If that's the case, I might as well go back to 2K15 and play patch four. Play patch four with the demigods all over again. I might as well. <sighs> this shit right here is fucking ridiculous, dog. But anyways, though, we're coming to the end. We're gonna walk away with another. We're gonna have the Bulls hold another L here today. We're gonna have the Bulls hold another L today, just like yesterday. But yeah, man, that's pretty much going to be about it. Tell me what y'all think in the comment section below. Tell me y'all thoughts 
about patch NBA Live's patch four. Y'all tell me about it, cause quite honestly, it's it did fix some stuff, but it did not fix everything that needed to really be fixed to make this game not perfect but playable. I really do want to play Pro Am. I really do want to play Summer Circuit, but when it comes to everybody just shooting threes and and the fact that the shots are actually still high percentage and still go in it makes it unplayable because it just lets one person know that hey I can just jack up threes all game I don't even need my teammates I don't need everybody getting the rhythm just play off me y'all and I can't do that I don't like that and that's why I don't play pro I prefer I prefer park I prefer NBA 2K's park over NBA Live's Pro-Am because at least with Patch 3 they actually fixed Park and made it actually legitimate, legitimate and then the people who actually play over on the 2K side they actually play with their teammates so if with, with that being said I'm going to leave it right there for right now tell me what y'all think in the comment section below I, I just don't find that they didn't fix everything to make this game playable or to keep you coming back to it that's just my personal opinion so tell me what y'all think in the comment section below I get back to you till then peace out and for the stat geeks here's a look at his numbers here we go with the top three plays Number three. Number two. Number one. And with our league scores, here's the latest from around the association. And here we have the Easter Conference standings as we near the playoffs. Here's a view of the upcoming game for the New York Knicks. On behalf of ESPN on EA Sports, I'm Jalen Rose. We look forward to seeing you again next time.